I do rock, I always do, I always do rock. No, I'm going to do Come rock. Come on, guys! It's just what I choose to win. Give him detention. <laughs> Today's episode of Homeschooling with Joanna, we are focusing in on physics today. Boys? You forgot to mention our names. We're here with Neil, Ray, okay. and Niall Mike. Today we're looking at some physics and we're going to be if naming the planets. Oh. So we'll take it in turns oh. to name as many planets as you can. Okay. Boys. Um, rock, paper, scissors, yours first. I'm doing rock. I do rock, I always do, I always do rock. No, I'm going to do Come rock. Come on, boys! Oh my god! I always do rock. I told you. I can I can name any. Don't, any, don't, any your anus. <laughs> you just swore this. Oh, Again, more detection. Come on, I've done your anus. Pluto, Mars, Earth, Venus, Neptune. It's the moon. <laughs> Jupiter, Saturn. I'm missing one. I know it. So what happens if Dad gets it? So if I get it, if I win, if, and if I don't, and he gets it, he wins. So he's won all the things, all the stuff. No, no, like, so get it. So get it then. Am I allowed to hear what we've had? Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, Mars, Earth, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. It's actually the, the planet that's closest to the sun that you're missing. Oh yeah, that little one. The little fella. Nice Pluto, furthest away. Furthest away. Well, the nearest to the sun is the little one, isn't it? Nice Pluto, furthest away. Why do you keep saying the same thing over and again, over and again? No, that's Pluto further away. Because I know my science. Well then, which one's closest to the sun? Oh, okay, that's why it I know begins it. with an M. Mercury. Oh, and Dad. Oh! That doesn't mean he wins on. though, because I didn't fail. Doesn't matter. There's a bonus You lost rock, pepper. Oh, bonus round, okay. No, because I didn't. <coughs> It was until one of us didn't get it and then we all got it. You're so competitive. Can I just what? teach you guys and the viewers at home a way to remember all the planets in order from the sun? Yeah. So it's my very easy method just speeds up naming planets. Oh, nice, nice. Wow. God, I, never, I never learned that in drama. The best explanation of the relationship between the sun, the earth and the moon, which orbits which one and how it all happens. Okay, over to you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was in the lead. I was no, you wasn't in the lead, because I, 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 I helped you get Mercury. What I missed, what I missed, what I missed, what I missed. I helped you get Mercury. I always do rock. I know you do, but you're not going to do it this time. I am, I always do rock. <laughs> no, but you're not. No, I am, I right. always do. All right. All right. I always do rock. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Nile, the sun, the earth, the moon. Let's hear it, son. <laughs> what? <laughs> so which like, goes round which? So, um, you got the sun, which is the biggest star, which is a big ball of fire. Right. <laughs> and all nine, nine planets, which we've all named, orbit the sun. Okay. So how long does it take the earth to orbit the sun? It takes the earth 365 days to orbit the sun. Okay. Um, and it's a perfect distance away for life form on Earth, i.e. a human being. <laughs> which provides us with heat and UV light. And then you've got the moon <coughs> which orbits the Earth, which takes 28 days to orbit the Earth. That's why you've got your... And the, the reflection of the sun is when you can see in the quarter moon, half moon, or total eclipse. I don't know if you win any more. Any more? I don't want to know any more on that correct answer. I don't think that was alright. The only thing that was missing was the fact that it, the Earth spins as well. Well done, though. Well done, though. That was really impressive. That was impressive. That is that right? Yeah. Well, so I, I what he said. <laughs> <laughs> the closest number. Closest number. To. The number of human beings that are living on the earth right now. Yeah, oh, yeah well, I'll, I'll have a track. I'm, I'm gonna. S f Stop swearing in class! Oh, sorry. You're gonna say six, you're gonna say six million. Billion. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna say. I think it's 60 or six or 60. It's neither. So I'm gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> 
He's not wrong. I'm going to say 742 million okay. humans on the planet Earth. Yeah. You think it's billions? <coughs> billions. Go on, that, go that, on. Two billion live in India? 1.2 billion. In my, in my head, I was going to say 60 billion to start off with. But go on now. What's your 7.7234 billion. <laughs> well, he's got it. Yeah. 7.8 billion? 7. Sure. 7 no, billion. how did you get it? He's got his phone under there. 7.7. 7, 7 billion, 773 million, 330,000 and... 7.77. 7. 7. 7. Look how quickly it's going up. 742 million. You like... Yeah, that's a bit out. Alright, you're, you're, like, so, you're all supposed to be the teacher. You're supposed to be encouraging me, inspiring me, not telling me how stupid I am. Thank you for watching this episode <laughs> of Homeschooling with Joanna. Niall is the champion of English, <clears throat> maths and physics. We'll catch you on the next one. Keep smashing it and remember anything is possible if you just work. Bye. See you, see you behind the bike sheds, girls. We're off. Give him detention. <laughs> <laughs>